Miss Nat 100. Welcome back. Um, so this is my two of my Accutane journey. Um, I wanted to find a good place to videotape so that you guys could see how my face is doing. I'm not going to make this part too long because I feel like I've been talking too much in these updates and I don't want these videos to be entirely too long. So I'm just going to give you a few quick updates and then um, you'll the next time you'll see me is in week two of month two. So I did get a refill of my Accutane. Um, I'm still on 40 milligrams a day. I typically take it at night after I've eaten something so it doesn't mess with my stomach. Um, mouth still the same, body still the same. Um, I'm still taking my um, vitamins, primarily the fish oil and the vitamin D. I think they're helping a lot. I have not had any issues with um, joint pains. The neck uh, thing has gone away, kind of, sort of. Um, it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. My dermatologist did say that sometimes, you know, you'll sleep on your neck wrong, and sometimes those um, pains will stay for about four to six weeks. So it sounds about right. Um, I'm in maybe my fourth or fifth week with this neck pain, and it's getting a little bit better. She did say I could take ibuprofen if I wanted to. I could take up to 600 milligrams each time. So that has been helping. Additionally, I did tell her that some of my, my breakouts very seem very cystic. They're very big. Um, and she prescribed me some antibiotics. Um, I don't know what these are. Clindamycin. Uh, let's see. Can this zoom? Yeah, so it's a clindamycin. Wait. Clindamycin. And it's for 300 milligrams. And I'm supposed to take one capsule twice a day for 14 days for acute boil flare. That's because some of my um, acne bumps get so big and they're very painful. As you can see, let's look at my skin now. Um, this is the left side. So I had a recent breakout here. Guys, I know. I feel, I don't know. I don't want to say that I feel bad, but I just don't know if my skin is getting better um i am getting these small 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 breakouts i feel like the dark marks are, is not getting any lighter this side i've gotten some brand new breakouts right here it's just um this is a month in guys and i'm still looking like a pubescent teenager um, I've had recent breakouts right here and right here. Um, the good thing is the breakouts are not as big anymore. They're not like huge bumps. They're just kind of like smaller pus filled bumps. Um, I don't know guys. I don't know how I feel. I guess maybe I'm trying to get, you know, a result sooner than later. Um, but I guess this is just month two. It's a process and I'm praying that each month it gets better, but um, I am getting my cycle soon. That could be a reason why I'm getting these. I don't know. I'm just, you know, giving you guys an update so you guys can know how I'm doing. So like I said, this is week one of month two. Um, and today is actually what, August 15th, I think. So yesterday was Monday and I was supposed to record yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to. So I just wanted to make sure I did that today. So that's week one of my two. I guess I will see you in week two of month two. Bye. Hey guys, this is Miss Net 100. Welcome back to week two of month two of my Accutane journey. Um, this is going to be a quick, quick update. I'm not going to repeat myself. I feel like I say the same things over and over. I'm just going to give you major updates and then I'll show you my skin and then we'll go on to week three. Um, so technically everything has remained the same. I don't think I've had any major changes that I would like to let you know about. Um, I think the only thing I noticed really that has been consistent technically is my dry scalp. I've tried to do a little bit better with, um, adding oils to it, but it actually is just really bad. So, um, that is something that I, I've been paying more attention to. Um, everything else is um, remaining the same. Um, I am not feeling the crick in my neck as much anymore. I think that's either starting to heal itself or it's just starting to be less and less painful. Um, and it's slowly but surely going away. Uh, the only thing also that I feel like that has started to get worse, if I'm not right, wearing the right shoes, are my, I guess my plantar fasciitis underneath my foot where my, um, 
I guess my, what you call it, arch is, that sometimes can be quite painful. But aside from that, nothing else. Um, everything remains the same. So lips remain the same. Um, and that's it. Um, this week is my birthday week. Um, so I am actually going to not take the pills for a couple of days because I will be um, consuming alcohol and when I consume alcohol I don't want to be on the pill um, because of my liver and stuff so I think because it's my birthday is on the weekend which is good I'm going to stop taking the, the Accutane on Friday Saturday Sunday and then resume back on Monday um, just because I don't want to have to be consuming alcohol and being on the pill at the same time um but that's it. So I want to show you my skin. I think it's doing very well this week. I think this is the type of um, results that I kind of wanted to start seeing. Um, and who knows, it could get worse and it just could get better. But I want you to see how it looks right now. Um, I'm very happy with how this is um, doing. Even though it might look bad on camera, but I'm not having any big, big, huge outbreaks. This is the left side of my face. So, you know, I still have like the dark, areas of course and that's going to take some time to go away but at least i'm not getting outbreaks outbreaks is what's always been my issue so my front of my face um i usually don't have problems with the front like my forehead it's usually the sides this is the right side um and as you can see it's just really dark areas no breakouts even though it looks like i, I kind of have some breakouts but i don't it's really just dark patches that just need to heal and lighten up. Um, I'm not having those like little itty bitty bumps that I was having. I don't necessarily know what causes them. Sometimes I think it's because of some of the stuff I put on my face and in some days it's very clear and in some days I have the little bumps. So I am happy with uh, how it's coming along so far. Up until now I wasn't, but this week seems to have been a turn for the better. So. I hope that this continues and I hope, you know, my skin stays clear. Um, and then I guess I will see you guys in week three. Bye. Good morning, folks. Um, my voice sounds really raspy because I just woke up. Um, I didn't want this week to get away from me without recording. So that's why it appears I'm dressed and ready to go. That's because it's really early in the morning. I'm actually getting ready for work and I'm about to put my makeup on. And I didn't want to not make the video uh, before then. Um, for some reason, every time I get home now, um, I don't have enough time to make the video when my skin looks good. Um, it's usually when my skin, I don't know, by the end of the day, either after I washed my makeup off, it gets very irritated and a lot of bumps um, tend to be on my face. So I wanted to make a video real quick so you guys can see how my skin is doing. It's actually doing really good. I'm not going to take too much time because I really do need to go. Um, but I'm just going to give you some quick updates. Um, first and foremost, I have found something that works way better for my lips. I don't know why I didn't use this day one, month one, because I had heard about it when I was doing my research. I just never bought it. I just bought other stuff. But I managed to buy some Aquifer. Let's see if my... Um, it's the Aquifer um, Healing Ointment Advanced Therapy. Guys... When you, do you hear me? If you're starting Accutane, you need to use this. Don't use nothing else. Don't use nothing else. Or you have your lips begging you for mercy. This stuff is really good. Um, I've read a couple of reviews on it. And actually, I bought it like a couple days ago. And by far, it's probably been the only thing that's been working as far as healing my lips and keeping them from actually getting chapped again. Um, I used to buy stuff. just They just didn't work. It just kept it moist, but it always seemed to crack and just feel really bad at times. I mean, of course, when I don't have nothing on, it feels really dry. But in the meantime, I don't have those scaly looking, crinkly looking lips. Okay. Additionally, I really need to start changing some of the stuff that I'm using because my skin is a lot more dry. Right now, as my everyday makeup, I use Revlon. Um, this is the Color Stay. It's like a matte foundation. Um, it's the Color Stay in the color Mocha and it's for combination oily skin. I can't use that stuff no more. My, my makeup at like 
maybe a couple of hours just looks extra dry um it, it just doesn't look good so i think i need to try to find something that's a little bit more moisturizing and i don't really have to buy something that's matte nor do i have to buy something that's for oily skin because my skin is not like that anymore so eventually once this one runs out i need to find something that's a little bit more lower end that i can wear every day my higher end makeup i'm still trying to figure out what i, I could buy but now that my skin is changing i have more of a variety Additionally, I have been using, or I still am using, the oil control. Um, this one was the Cetaphil Oil Control, control Moisturizer. This stuff, too, I think is for um, oily skin, and it's also keeping it way more dry as well. So this, underneath my makeup, is actually making it even more dry. So I'm going to think about finding something else that changes, but I bought that for a lot of money, so I'm going to use it until it's done. I did buy some new face wash. I was using pretty much face wash that was made just like this. It was the oil control um, for face wash from Cetaphil. That finished, thankfully. Now I have the Cetaphil. It's um, the foam wash. I love the foam wash because it feels better when I wash my face with it. But it's for redness, redness prone skin, gently cleanses without over drying, which, is, which the other one was drying up my face a lot. And non -cos cosmedonic, whatever that says, um, leaves skin feeling smooth and balanced. And I know that this works because it feels really good after I wash my face. Um, that's pretty much what's been happening with my skin. Nothing else has changed. Not, my symptoms are pretty much still the same, except I'm not having as much headaches. The creak in my neck is finally gone, I can say. Some days it might appear its head, but not as bad as it was before. Um, also, no, no, no weak in my joints a little here now every now and then I'll get a little bit of tinge in them but nothing too bad save about my vitamins my skin is doing fine and that's pretty much it I'm going to show you my skin is actually doing really well this morning um I have a couple of breakouts that are a little bit you know you can see how this is uh the left side um the left side is probably one of my worst sides but I only have like a breakout here um, and it's not really a big breakout, but for me, my skin, I feel like I don't have a breakout here. And sometimes I pick them. I, I shouldn't, but I do. When you have acne, you'll know why we do that. We It's just something that you just do. And if you've been doing it for 10 years, it's hard not to. Now, all of a sudden, you have good skin. You know what I mean? But, um, this is my right side. It's doing pretty well. So, what's good is that I'm not really having any huge, big you know, pussy filled breakouts. Every now and then I'll get, you know, some blackheads that'll come up and some little white heads, but nothing severe. So right now, I'm really enjoying how my face is looking. This is good. This is progress. This is what I've been wanting to see. So, um, so I'm happy about that. And if I didn't tell you, this is week three of month two. I didn't say that in the beginning, but I'm going to go now because I feel like I'm talking too much. I will see you all in week four. Bye. Hey guys, um, so this is week four of month two um, on my Accutane journey. Um, it's safe to say that I'm ready for this journey to be over, but I only have four more months left after this week and I'm just counting down guys. I'm, I'm ready for this um, to be over. Um, so I wanted to give you a quick update on how I'm doing. I've had some breakouts this week. Um, I actually don't know what still causes my breakouts. I don't know if I'm still in the purging phase. I don't even know how long the purging phase is supposed to be because some weeks my face will be fine and then some weeks they'll just, they'll it just be really terrible. But remember, I have um, hormonal acne and I feel like sometimes maybe the breakouts are because of my hormones. I have no idea, but I did have some really bad breakouts. My face looks decent right now. That's because um, the breakouts have gone away, but now it's like in the healing process and the dark marks have come back. But anyways, I'm going to give you a quick update on how my face is doing and um, how everything else is doing. Everything is copacetic. I don't have any big issues, no joint pains. Um, my skin is dry. My my real skin, like not, not my, my face skin, but my skin is dry and I can actually tell when I come out of the shower, my skin feels different. So I have done a really good job on staying moisturized after every shower. Like I don't play, like I get out of the shower and I put something on, something, whether it's some type of smell good lotion or just regular lotion to compensate for how dry 
dry my skin feels um no joint aches i think i mentioned that already um of course still the dry lips but the aquifer does help a lot so like i said in week three that's the holy grail don't get nothing else get that because it, it does help but i still have my dry lips my headaches have come back a little bit they're off and on um but they're not as bad as they used to be i did mention like last week or the week before that was my birthday so i wasn't on the pill for a good three or four days because i didn't want to be drinking and taking the pill at the same time so i took three days off one day and then i took an additional day because my friend took me out and i didn't want to be drinking and taking the pill at the same time i don't recommend doing both um aside from that that's it um I talked last week about some of the products that um, I have been using that I'm considering changing. I have not changed them yet, so when I do eventually change them, I will update them on this video. Now let me show you my skin. Uh, I always start with my what? My left side. So this is my left side. I have one big pimple right here. It hurts. It, it, it It's just there. But these are the recent breakouts that I've had actually. They, there are a lot. You can't see them right now because they're starting to heal. But I need to find something for the dark marks. See how, um, I don't know if my camera is focusing. I'm not really in the best light. But, yeah. So I told you this week my skin has not been doing that great. This side is not so bad. Um, uh, I did have a breakout right here. Um, I have a couple of breakouts up here, but for now, it's just dark marks and a couple of minor breakouts. And I think I broke, had a breakout right here and right here, but everything else is just dark, um, dark skins, dark or dark marks of healing bumps. So that is how my skin is doing. Um, I don't know that it'll get better, but I'm hoping that it will. If not, hey, I still have four months to go, right? So I'll see you guys next week in my week one. Well, day one, week one, or something like that. I will see you all next week. Bye.